Also tonight, a coach and assistant coach for the lacrosse team at Lake Catholic have resigned, and now a senior won't be able to participate in graduation after a photo circulates of a player on the team with a swastika on his leg during a game against Orange High School. Emma Henderson joins us now with the results of the diocese investigation and what the family of a student is saying tonight. Emma. Hi, Betsy. The diocese confirmed in its investigation that the late Catholic student with the mark on the back of his leg was not the one who put it there. Instead, they say a senior student was responsible for drawing it on the sophomore's calf using eye black and that he did it to two other players. We won't be showing you the jersey number of the athlete with the mark on his calf since it was determined he was unaware it was even there. And once he found out, the investigators say he had teammates help him remove it. The senior lacrosse player for Lake Catholic who confessed to the drawing will not be allowed to participate in commencement and will not be allowed to get his diploma until he's finished community service and a learning program about Jewish heritage. Today, we are also hearing from the family of that sophomore whose photo was circulated with a swastika on his leg through PR firm Hennis Communications. It says in part, quote, as a result of the misinformation in initial news reports and online, the younger player's family has endured much under, undeserved criticism and blame. They're sickened that the young player was in any way involved, even unknowingly, in an incident that has and will continue to cause fear, hurt, and anger throughout the Jewish community and beyond. They do not condone hate speech in any form, unquote. Because of this incident, the head coach and an assistant coach have resigned, and there were also questions about a late Catholic team photographer. The diocese says, well, they didn't find any proof of him saying anything anti-Semitic. He was using profane language and won't be allowed to work with the team in an official capacity moving forward. Now we have those full statements from the coach and the student's representation right now on WKYC.com. Betsy. All right, Emma, thank you.